hi guys welcome to accounting bi in today's video i'll be showing you how to spot the 500 internal server error what it relates to and how we can resolve this if you're new here welcome to accounting bi the true fpma and management accounting solution in the uk so on our dashboard you can spot the trial balance template that is av that is available on our website on our accounting bi page so let's get straight into this you're going to get into the data tab and select queries and connections then over here you're going to click on this refresh icon and just refresh it so here is the error that has been uh, that, that we're going to talk about the 500 internal server error so this error is generated because the bearer token has expired so how do we solve this error to do this we're going to get into get data over here then you're going to launch the power query editor we have to get into accounting bi so that from the reports tab we can generate a trial balance a trial balance report to get a new uh, a newly generated bearer token so on to the reports tab select the trial balance report after you have input your organization and the date and the period as well as the payments only option as no you can go ahead and click on submit as a way to track the progress over here uh there are three type of statuses we have initiated we have success and we have completed so we are waiting to see it read as completed yeah it's already completed so now we can come to the connectors tab and uh, we're going to copy the new bearer token so you just select there and it's going to be copied so going back to our template we are now going to replace this value over here under the bearer token now we're going to replace it with the new bearer token then after pasting the bearer token once you go over here and click on the trial balance you're not going to see the updated generated data and even as you click on close and load you're going to under the queries and connections and connectors once you refresh the data you will no longer get the error message as you'll have uh, resolved it by updating the bearer token and that's it for today guys bye thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video